Lisa McCallion is an inspiration. For 36 years, she served as mayor of Mississauga 36 years. And at the tender age of 95 years, Hurricane Hazel remains a force of nature. She joins us this morning to share her secret to a long and healthy life and happy life. Please welcome. I still want to call you Mayor Hazel. You're Thanks. always Mayor Hazel to me. Do you miss being mayor of Mississauga? Uh, not really, because uh, uh, I wondered how, how I would adjust to not being mayor. But I have such interesting jobs with the hospital, university, Sheridan College, Rivera Retirement, and I'm on a couple of boards. I'm busy every day, and with the Ontario Women's Hockey Association. I mean, I don't have any time on my hands. You told me last night, you didn't get, uh, sorry, last week, you didn't have one dinner at your house because you were so busy going from function to function. It, exactly. You know, even though I'm not mayor, I'm invited to many of the city functions, yeah. and I enjoy it, meeting the people. Because I love to be with people. Is that part of the secret, do you think, to being so amazing at 95 and having such vitality is staying active in the community? Oh, very. I mean, you got to stay active physically as well as mentally. And going out and meeting people and discussing the issues, whether they're political or what's going on in the community, keeps you active. And you, of course, are such a role model to all of us women, doing what you did so well for so long and continue to do in the political realm. What do you think of the fact that we're one night away from potentially seeing the first female president of the United States of America? Well, I think this election in the United States, I think it's the best show in town. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, the United States really have a difficult decision to make. Uh, I think uh, it's been a very unusual election. And uh, I guess uh, tonight uh, they'll make a decision. Uh, I, I think it's a tough decision for the United States to make uh, between Trump and, and Clinton. It would be nice, uh, as you and I, as women, for the first president, uh, that a woman be elected for the first time as president of the United States. But I hope that uh, if she wins the election, that she will do her homework and uh, and uh, do a jo good job as president of the United States. Of course, the president of the United States doesn't have that much authority. It's the two houses that really determines. I think Obama came in with great ideas and was well received by the people of the United States, but he never could get his program implemented because of the two houses. And I love that you say at the end of the day, we have to remain positive no matter what the outcome yeah. because the country has never been more divided. And that's one thing that is threaded through your life is be positive, be active, go with the flow when it comes to changes. And you actually have a talk happening this Thursday uh, for Women College Hospital. Yes. And you're encouraging women to come on down and hear you speak about how to succeed and thrive as women in work and at home. Well, you know, the history of the women's college is, is fascinating. There's a college that was formed because uh, women doctors were not allowed to uh, work at uh, or not accepted at the hospitals. So what did they do? As many women have done over the years, start their own uh, hospital so that they could operate. Mm -hmm. My two children were born at, uh, women's at Women's College. And what is so special about Women's College is the research they're doing that is obviously clearly indicates that not enough research has been done about women's health. And uh, they are, I think, turning a, a fantastic uh, research program into helping women for the future. Uh, women's college is unusual. It's the only college, only a hospital of its in Canada that is doing research for women's health. Something I think it's fantastic. It really is, you're right. It's a pillar, for sure, it's for the pillar. community, for the world. And so are you. Thank you so much. We have so much to learn from you. It's too short. I could talk to you all day, but make sure you can hear more words of wisdom from Hazel McCallion at Women for Women, the event in support of Women's College Hospital Foundation this Thursday at the Royal York. For more information and tickets, go to breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much for being here. Tomorrow morning is going to be interesting, or rather the next morning will be interesting. <laughs> Cav, right now over to you with more on all things elections and such.